Hi, my name is Puteka Dewin. Today, I'm going to tell you about the potential use of garlic as natural antibacterial agent. <clears throat> First off, as you may have already known, humans have been using garlic ever since more than 5,000 years ago. They were first used by the people of ancient Babylonia, Egypt, Greece, Hindus, and Chinese as a cooking ingredient because garlic provides a strong taste and pungent smell. Aside from being used as a cooking ingredient, the soldiers of World War II has also been using garlic to prevent infection from their wounds. They wrap a cut garlic through their wounds in order to kill off or fight off the bacteria on the wounds so they would not get diseases from bacterial infection. This is because there is a compound inside garlic which is called allicin. Uh, it is an organosulfur compound that has been protecting garlic from invading pests and microorganisms in the wilderness. This compound, allicin, is only occurs when the garlic cloth is being damaged, either by cut, cutting or crushing it. So, that is one of the reasons why garlic has always been such an important community for humans. Aside from their culinary uses, they also have medicinal purposes as well. And Indonesia, which is a country rich in biodiversity and rich in human resources, has the perfect structural grounds on which garlics can be grown from. It is because of the fertile soil and an abundance of water to support the growth of the crops. Antibacterial agent I'm talking about here is antibiotics, which is such an important part in today's medicine because there are many pathogenic bacteria around that are causing illnesses and diseases amongst children, adults, and elderly. So, uh, the way antibiotic works is by either by killing the pathogen or inhibits it from replicating. Uh, that is why it is important because a widespread infection throughout the body is dangerous. Antibiotic abuse is one of the reasons why it is not sold freely, as it is a doctor's prescription only drug. Allison works as an antibiotic by inhibiting certain enzymes vital for the microorganism survival, and they have slight chance of making the pathogenic bacteria resistant against allicin because it has been a natural remedy. Nowadays, people look for something much more natural to be used in their daily products. This is due to the constant exposures of the media about harmful chemical ingredients and things we use daily, such as shampoo, soaps, hand wash, body washes. This exposure leads to an increase in awareness of using much more natural and safer products to their body. An antibiotic based of allicin would be more familiar with the customers because they see garlic daily, they eat garlics, they know how to use garlics. So the target market for this product is for customers who want a much more natural option as their antibiotic also for the, the fin financially weak customers because garlic is a common community that is readily available and it can be home ground and they can be easily ripped of their benefits. So it would benefit every aspect of the antibiotic industry. What I'm trying to say here is that an allicin based antibiotics would give great benefits to every aspect of the industry, to the customers, to farmers, and that is the reason why I wanted to see how garlics can be used as a natural antibacterial agent. Thank you for your time.